All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to buy and apply for your Montana uh, general tags. So we're going to start off here on the Montana Fishing Game website. You can see in the top left, uh, fwp.mt.gov. And the first thing you're wanting, you're going to want to do is create an account. So once you create your account, then you can start your process. So we're on the home page here after we have our account and we're logged in. Now what we're going to do is click buy and apply. We're going to scroll down and we will see online licensing. We're going to click on that. And that will take us to another page. For some reason, it's being a little bit slow. So now this is where you select um, what you are. So whether you're resident, non-resident, so on and so forth, be sure you click the correct one. In my case, I am a non-resident. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm going to log in here so you're going to do your first name, your last name, your date of birth, and your ALS number. If you do not know what your ALS number is, um, it has a little bit of information right here on the side. But if you don't know what it is, how I found mine, because I had this issue as well, how I find, found mine, they actually sent me an email with my ALS number. So if you don't remember it, what I did is I went to my Gmail and I just typed in ALS and searched through all my emails and actually found it that way. So I'm going to fill out my information here and then I'll be back with you guys uh, shortly. All right, so we're back. I just typed in my information and now we're on the next screen after I click continue. So now all we'll do is click accept. You're going to select your license year, so in this case it will be 2024. Continue. And now we are where we're going to select our licenses. So one thing you can do is you can just scroll down to whatever you want, uh, which in our case is going to be the Deer Combo General. Now they have a lot of options here. Um, but what I want specifically is a deer combo general, and here's what you're going to need for that. You're going to need the aquatic invasive species, your base hunting license, and your conservation license. Now, if you are going to be hunting with a bow and arrow, then you also have your, have to buy your bow and arrow license. And um, I believe you also have to go through a bow hunting uh, class as well. So we're going to scroll down. And now we get to our licenses. So we have all these. You're going to go down. In this case, I'm applying for the Deer Combo General. So it's just a general deer license, nothing else. So if you want to hunt elk and deer, then you will select big game combo general, just elk, elk combo general, and so on and so forth. So we're going to click our deer combo general. And then now um, you can also apply for some of these, like your permits. So... Yeah, we're going to go down. You can also apply for a super tag. So what a super tag is essentially is you can buy in as many times as you want. Uh, and they only draw one per species, I'm pretty sure. And you get to hunt pretty much anywhere you want, even in the limited entry zones. They're $5 a piece. And like I said, they're unlimited. Um, I'm not going to buy any right now. But... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go down. This is tribal um, type stuff. Donations, magazine, commercial use. 
so on and so forth. So we're going to click continue. Now this is where you select if you're going to apply as a party. So in my case, no. If you are, then you will um, answer this. Are you the first member? If so, you click yes. And um, it'll basically give you step-by-step -step instructions from there. But from here, we're going to say no. Now you also get to choose if you want to purchase a preference point. So we're not going to do that. Are you going with an outfitter? No. Purchase a preference point? No. If unsuccessful in drawing, and this one you knew, you want to make sure you click no unless you just want to donate. But um, in our case, we are not. So here is where you enter, you click that and you have to enter your hunter um, certification number, the issue date, and the state. And here we're just gonna say Google Fishing Game website. So I'm gonna go through um, this and fill out my information. Again, it's just your hunting license from whatever state you're in. So I will be back shortly. All right, we're back. We just filled out our license information and click continue. It'll ask if you want to donate to Wolves. No. In my case, at least. Uh, would you like to contribute to Hunters Against uh, Hunger donation program? For the purpose of the video, we're just going to click no on all of these. So now we are where we want to be. So this is pretty much the end. You have your conservation license your deer combo or whatever license that you choose, your base hunting license, uh, invasive species, and obviously your $5 application fee. Now keep in mind, um, Montana does take all of this money, okay? And if you do draw, then obviously they keep the money, and if they don't draw, they return um, your, um, deer combo or whatever, you know, but, um, you still have to pay the application fee and so on and so forth. So we, all right guys, so essentially, um, that's going to be about everything. So here, um, again, this is pretty much the end and the last few pages, you're just filling out information, your name, phone number, email, address, all that good stuff. So now it's going to ask you some questions uh, such as this one. You are applying for a non-resident combo. Would you like paper hunting regulations mailed to you if you are successful? Yes. I personally do at least. You have an application in your purchase. If you are successful in the draw, please select how you would like to receive your carcass tags. FW print means you want them physically, e-tag if you want to download and validate your carcass tags on your mobile device. I want them printed. And then down here, all license sales are final except as provided in blah, blah, blah. No corrections or changes or withdrawals. So this is what's important. So some states such as Colorado, um, you can actually adjust um, your application as long as the application period is still uh, happening, which I mean, for example, I did last year. After you click proceed to payment, please submit payment information to complete your purchase or click cancel on the billing screens. Do not close your browser or use the browser's back button. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Once you click proceed to payment, you type in your information and you pretty much have applied for your tag. Just make sure you're applying for the right thing. You cannot go back and edit anything. So just be careful and good luck this year, guys, and peace out.